morning, everybody. This is my face right down here. So now you know I'm real, I'm not a robot. Okay, this is where we're going to be at today. Averstoffen photo dash webcam dot eu go check it out yourself august 19th 5 30 2016 okay this is all real time so nobody's faking nothing and i don't believe the yesterday that we had dirt on the lens i think that was all real so here you go so how's everybody doing this morning got to put on your nibiru eyeballs okay you ready here we go just what I want to show you. If I get lost, you guys will let me know. So right here, you got the pink down here, and you got the pink and orange up there. So what's the next shot? Boom. I don't believe that's a spot on the lens. I don't believe that's just a reflection. I think it actually caught something. Um, or we call it a reflection, I don't know. But anyways, I'm gonna blow it up. Give you guys the full spectrum. There's your town. There's your light rays. Light rays are phenomenal. Look how they split up. They got a little bit of different colors in them. You see the planet next to the sun. And you see that pink light ray just stops. Why? I don't know. Anyways, out here you got a bunch of spots. See those spots? I have no clue what they are. But you see how that ray breaks from pink to white? That's, I have no clue. And you see the other one right here towards the front of the sun. So check it out. <coughs> Ain't nobody putting that spot on the window. That's pretty amazing. See the cloud? Got the pink around the cloud. Got the sun. Got the weird rays. There you go. So that's pretty amazing. Now you've seen Nibiru, have you seen Jesus yet? Have you met my friend Jesus? I'm only out here to tell you about my friend Jesus. My granddaughter's looking at me over there. She's cute. She's had her nails done. See her? Wave, Katie. It's my granddaughter. Then now hanging out with us, Grand Poo Poo. The Grand Poo, she calls me, which is a big, you know what I mean. Okay, the next video I'm going to show you, guys, relax. I'm going to put some music on if you keep this up. Relax out there. All right, I'm putting music up. Two minutes. I got a song picked out for you guys. Let's go to that song. If I get messed up, I'll be back. Okay, it's going to be Josh Albio, Wake Up. All right. Feel better now? Get you to relax. So that's real. No bug on the wall. I'll show you one that looks like a bug on the wall. Let me see right here. That looks like a bug on the wall, but I don't think that's a bug on the wall. Anyways, I believe that's Nemesis in all its weirdness. So, you guys need to meet my wife. Here's my wife, Dawn. Say hi, Dawn. She's playing games. This is my studio, my living room. And I tell them when I do something... Quiet on the set, and they all get quiet, guys. So are you guys having a good Sunday? Get a coffee, because I don't know what I got here all, but I'm going to show you. Listen to the words on this song, guys. I think I had some pink clouds on here I want to show you if I didn't get them all mixed up. Look over to your left. Well, maybe I don't have it on this video. I caught some pretty interesting colors. See the purplish? They're trying to hide everything from us. See the purplish pink? There you go. Look at all that, guys. Purple and pink. See the pink? Purple. There's all kinds of stuff going on in these guys. Pink. See, Nibiru's traveling in all this mess. Okay, here we go. See the 200% blow up? See how the planet's coming out? I'm sorry. Right there. See how that planet's coming out on the orange? And then I don't know if that's something on the top there.
Hey, and this is my son, Mark. Meet Mark. <laughs> they didn't know they would be on TV today. Anyways, let's have fun today, guys. Not so serious. See the pink? The beer is all through these guys. That's why I'm over here. Okay, I'm going to show you another video. Okay, this one, I believe I got a red hue in the sky. There's a lot of water spots on the lens. Let's see if I can get this water spot. So waking, up, waking you guys up from your sleep, as the song says. Time to wake up, guys. Let me go backwards. You see that orange right there? See that orange on the right? A little bit orange. Check it out. Check it out. It gets better. Middle of the night. You see that purple spot right there? That's an indicator and that weird looking cloud that's kind of lit up all of a sudden. And that's the only one I really had on that one. See, before that shot right there, it was dark. And then next picture is lit up with a purple spot. So just showing you what I see. Kind of take you on a tour. And there's my uh, bugly friend over there on the left. And the last one I got right here is, I don't know. Down here, you look at all the orange. Let's go forward and backwards. I know something's hiding for you guys. See all the orange? This is before. You look at the clock on the left. I'm starting to go forward now. See the orange? Orange in the cloud? Now just watch it. It's all signs of something going on, guys, in our skies. That's a reflection. Now, if you look right here, is that dark with that little bit of a shadow? I don't know if that's something. But doesn't that look like a king's crown, guys? That's a pretty cool picture. So Jesus is waking you up. So the Bible says all have sinned and all have fallen short of the glory of God. And how do we sin? Because when Adam disobeyed God, all have sinned because of his sin. So, you know, what are you going to do? If we're all sinners, we're all sinners. We're born into this thing. This was a war zone we were born into. Now, if you meet Jesus, you'll be presented Jesus. But if you meet Jesus, it's your will, your volition. It's up to you. You're the man. You say no, you go to hell. You say yes, you have a life forever. Just think about no bills. Don't have to worry about food and your car payments no more. Living in a spiritual place. And everybody think, oh, we're in fantasy land. Well, if this is your hope, what's on this earth, then I'd rather be in fantasy land. So I'm just showing you. And I'm going to go back to the big planet. So God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He gave him. He said, here, this is the only sacrifice that's going to save you. This blood that he spills is going to save you. Because he was pure without sin. He was born of a virgin woman. He came in the flesh. He died on the cross for your sins. And all you really have to do, according to Romans 10, 9 and 10, is believe in your heart. Confess with your mouth that Jesus came in the flesh and died on the cross. Right? right? And you say, Jesus is Lord. Tell someone about it. You're pretty much saved. You don't have to tell nobody about it. People say you have to repent for your sins. Jesus came to abolish our sins. Our sins don't exist. While we're yet sinners, he saved us. This is just Sunday morning preaching, right? So while we were yet sinners, in our sin, in our death, in our brokenness, he died for us 2,017 years ago, whatever it is. And uh, I just want you guys to know it's available today. All you got to do is say, Jesus, come in my heart. I believe you died on the cross. You came in the flesh and died on the cross. And it says you will be saved because you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. That's it. Now, there's people out there say you have to confess your sins. No, you don't. Because while you were sinners, Jesus abolished them so he don't see your sin. That's scripture. And I'm going to get in the doctrine of it. But all you got to do is say, Jesus, come in my heart. I believe you died, came in the flesh and died for me. Save me from the wrath to come. Save me from this 1 Corinthians 15, wrath to come. We will no longer suffer wrath to come. So you guys enjoy your day. I'll see you in the next video. Be blessed. And those guys that are out there right now that just said, Jesus, come in my heart. I want you to put a comment. Jesus just came in the